Hello, today I'll just do, I'm just kidding, I'll just do a voiceover because I started liking videos like this and also it's much easier when I vlog because sometimes I talk a lot in my vlogs and it takes long for me to finish what I'm doing. Anyway, every time I vlog, I always check my laptop first, especially my notes, to see the things that I need to do because most of the time, if I know that I need to do a lot in the next day, I'll take note of it to not forget it. Here are the orders that I got yesterday. It's quite a lot. Glory to God. Ready to ship. Yay. I sometimes edit a little in the morning, then sometimes finish it in the evening. But yeah, here's me editing before I unbox some things that I bought and make candles. When I edit, I just remove the videos that I want to remove first and kind of think of the style that I'm going to do for the next vlog that I'll be editing. Sometimes I get a lot of ideas before I even edit and sometimes when I start editing. But there are times that I get literally zero idea and just get lazy to edit. I don't know if you're like me. I hope not. Just kidding. Well, anyway, I'm going to unbox now. Here's one order that I got and you'll see it in a while but i always take pictures of the packaging and what's inside because that's very important for proofs and reviews so make sure you do that too anyway i really love unboxing stuffs and also the sound of it when i'm editing that's why i do it often i don't know if you like it too so let me know in the comment section below also don't forget to subscribe if you're just new to my channel and turn on the notification bell so you'll get updated with my videos. I bought lavender and milk scent 120 mo each. I think it's my fourth time ordering at the same shop because I like their scents. And also I don't want to change it anymore. But the only bad side that I think, there was one time that I ordered 100 ml in their shop. And then when it got delivered, I checked it and it was the same bottle with 120 ml. So it's gonna look, oh no. Also today, I decided to make this body candles. But I won't fully show it to you. It's just gonna be like a sneak peek. Also, because I don't think I'll sell those because I've seen a lot of candle makers selling it here in the Philippines already. So yeah, but if I change my mind, you'll be able to see it here in my channel. So again, make sure to subscribe. Here's another order that I got. It's for my thermal printer. Kudos to them for the packaging because it's good and very secured. It's actually a lot, but it's good. I bought this because I was just gonna keep using my thermal printer to print my candle labels, but I changed my mind. I get OZ and just want to remove it sometimes because it's low quality. Also, my family and some of my friends suggested that I change it, so I did. I wanted to save budget, but I don't want to risk my candle looks. I want it to look simple but professional. Well yeah, I just really want to show you how I make my 20 candles in one day. It's not a lot compared to some candle makers, they do 300 or more a day, but for me as a starter, it's already very tiring. But yeah, as you can see, I calculated the measurements. I'm gonna be making a lot more than what I used to. I just used to make 5 candles sometimes, so yeah. First, whenever I make candles, I always, always make sure that it's clean the jars and everything that I'm gonna use and then I always make sure that everything's ready too before I really start melting my wax, the scents and everything. And if you don't know, candle making requires math so it's gonna make you dizzy. Just kidding. I am actually loving it. McDonald's. Just kidding again. I kind of feel like a scientist making experiments or a baker. But really, this is one of the things that excite me when I was just learning how to make candles. The measurements and temperatures. Making candle requires patience also and determination. Wow. <laughs> but really, it does. You have to be confident too because if you're not, you won't be able to do a good job. I think it can be related to everything that we're doing too. 
like your work and other stuff that you're doing, if you're not confident, if you don't give your best in the things that you're doing, then you won't be able to achieve the result that you want. But if you do, you might even be able to surpass your expectations. So yeah, I don't want to be dramatic here, okay? I just want to tell you that sometimes there are things that we thought that we won't be able to make or achieve. We won't also be able to experience it, especially if we don't try. But if we start doing it instead of just thinking about it, we won't even be able to make it work, make it happen, or as what I've said, surpass our expectation or others' expectations. We just really need to do it. So if you're looking for signs or waiting for a push, here it is. Go do it. Just keep trying. Just keep learning. It's better to try it than just waste the opportunity that you have. If you fail, then you fail. Start over. Try again. If you're able to do it, then good for you. Try it again and be a lot better next time. If you need a little more motivation, let me tell you this. Pray about it. Let God guide you and help you. I guess you all just need a little push and a little faith sometimes, right? Anyway, I'm talking a lot here. If you're still watching, thank you so much. I'll stop my voice over now so you can see me make candles more. Hee <laughs> hee.